welcome back uh, to the next uh, lecture of thermal engineering of ktu from module 1 we are discussing the steam nozzle uh, in this lecture we will discuss the mass flow rate and the critical pressure ratio of the flow in steam of steam nozzle now the exit velocity in terms of uh, pressure p1 and uh, v1 is uh, derived as following <clears throat> now the steam flowing through the nozzle follows the following equation pv raised to n equal to constant where n is equal to 1.135 if it is dry saturated and if it is uh, equal to 1.3 if it is superheated and if it, it is 1.035 plus 0 0.01 into x1 if it is wet steam where x is the dryness fraction now in order to find uh, the exit velocity in terms of p1 and v1 we consider this equation that is the gaining kinetic energy is equal to adiabatic heat drop that is the change in heat energy is equal to gaining kinetic energy which is equal to work done during Rankine cycle now this equation you can write it as h1 minus h2 is equal to n into n1 minus n, n divided by n minus 1 into p1 v1 minus p2 v2 now this is the work done during a flow process pv work done during a flow process now uh, using the steady flow energy equation we get it like this <coughs> that is v square by 2 into n into n minus 1 into p1 v1 minus p2 v2 also we know that uh, p1 v1 raised to n equal to p2 v2 raised to n since the flow follows the equation pv raised to n equal to constant from this v2 divided by v1 or the nu2 divided by nu1 is equal to p1 v1 p1 by p2 raised to 1 by n now we substitute this value in this in this equation so we get it like this v2 raised v2 square by 2 equal to n into n minus 1 to p1 v1 into 1 minus p2 v2 divided by p1 v1 we take p1 v1 outside so we get it like this now we rearrange the equation like this that is 1 minus instead of v2 divided by v1 we substitute this path p1 v1 p2 p1 divided by p2 raised to 1 by n so we get the equation like this now if we take v1 equal to 0 that is the inlet velocity of the steam in the nozzle is 0 then we get the equation like this that is avoiding that value we get the equation like this v2 equal to v2 into 2 into n n into n minus 1 p1 v1 1 minus 1 minus p2 v1 raised to so it is this is the <coughs> exit velocity in terms of pressure p1 and uh, specific volume nu1 now we have to find the mass flow rate of steam that is mass flow rate of steam is equal to the a uh, the area of cross section of the nozzle multiplied by the velocity at that no, uh, cross section divided by the specific volume of the steam at that cross section so suppose if it is uh, at 1 then it is a1 v1 divided by nu1 since this is at 2 a2 nu2 by v2 by nu2 mass flow rate at 1 and mass flow rate at 2 will be same for an isentropic flow where nu2 is equal to 
nu1 into p1 v, p2 raised to 1 by n that we can write like this AD, a2 is equal to area of cross section at exit now mass flow rate of steam will be like this m dot into n dot equal to a2 divided by v2 the root of this much this is the equation for the mass flow rate a2 divided by nu2 this is not v2 nu2 into the term that we just derived for v2 now we have an equi a question that show that the maximum discharge of fluid per unit time through a nozzle takes place when ratio of fluid pressure at the throat to the inlet is 2 by n plus 1 raised to n into n minus 1 where n is the index of adiabatic expansion that is the maximum mass flow rate m dot maximum m dot will be attained when the pressure p2 divided by p1 equal to 2 into this term to get the maximum mass flow rate we can differentiate m dot with respect to p2 m by p1 we differentiate this equation with respect to this and equate the zero like this so for that we take We substitute for nu uh, nu two, which is nu two over here, with this equation. This equation. And take the p one p two raised to one by n inside. We get the equation like this. We get the equation like this. Uh, rearranging that equation rearranging that equation rearranging that equation we get the value like this now we will start the differentiation with respect to p2 divided by p1 so we differentiate like this now the first derivative of the p2 divided by p1 we will get a 2 by n plus then here it becomes n plus n plus 1 divided by n or raised to half that is a root half is a root equal to 0 now we equate it to 0 now we take the terms inside the root we get the derivative like this after differentiation we get the derivative like this and we equate it to 0 after further calculation we get the term like this 2 by n into n p2 divided by p1 raised to n minus n we take the lcm over here and this term we take it to the arches side next term we get it like this we bring the all the n terms to the right hand side and here the roots are same we add the two roots and finally you get the equation like this that is p2 divided by p1 into 1 minus n divided. now this root will be will move to the arch side as the reciprocal over like this now finally we got p2 divided by p1 is equal to we take the uh, removing the minus sign we get 2 by n plus 1 raised to n into n minus 1 so this is the critical pressure value for the maximum mass flow rate thanks